Hello everyone, and welcome to the second video of my Sims 4 animation tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create your first pose. And you might be asking, but wait a minute, I wanted to learn to do animations. Well, the thing is that animations are a series of poses put together. Once you have created a couple of poses, you will see how easy it is to make an animation with them. So, let's get started. Let's open Sims 4 Studio. If you do not know what Sim 4 Studio is, I will be creating a video about it in the next few days. Sims 4 Studio is an awesome tool that allows us to modify the Sims 4 game. One of the ways we can modify it using this application is by creating poses. So let's continue with that. When Sims 4 Studio opens, look for the big animation button. Before clicking on it, make sure that the clip pack option is selected. It usually is when you open the app. After you click the animation button, you will be prompted to give this package a name. If you have noticed when you download mods and CC, what you are downloading are package files. I am going to name this package Exported Rig. To work with Sims, a rig or skeleton of the Sims is needed. So Sims 4 Studio allows you to download an in-game rig for you to work with. An animation package includes two areas, the Pose Pack tab, which is where you name your pose pack, and the Clip Pack, this is where you can add multiple clips for one pose pack. For this part, we are only creating this pack so that we can download the EA rig. In the Clip tab, you will see at the bottom that you have multiple options to select. For this tutorial purpose, we are going to select the Adult Female option. Making sure that the blank clip is selected, we proceed to click Export. We are now creating a Blender file, so I will name it EA Female Rig. Now, click Save. And then, we wait for the Blender file to be created. When the file is done, Windows will open File Explorer. And all you have to do is double-click the Blender file, or right-click and select Open. This will open the rig in Blender. Okay, now you have Blender open with a female rig. This is the time you grab somewhere to take notes. I will list the most use keys while working with the rig, so pause the video and get your things. This is a list of keys that you will be using in Blender. For this pose creation, please read the mouse key columns. We are going to come back to this table in a bit. When you click the mouse wheel, you are able to rotate the camera around the rig. This rotation is a 3D movement. Don't worry, it will make more sense when we start moving things around. Holding the shift key while pressing the mouse wheel let you move in 2D, left, right, up, and down. You can zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. The dots in the rig are called bones. The connections of the bones are what we call the armature of the rig. To select the entire rig, click the keyboard key A until all the dots of the rig show highlighted in color blue. Now, click the keyboard key I so the menu appears. And finally, click location and rotation. This is how we start our pose, by doing a lock rot in the rig. A lock rot is a short way to say location and rotation. A pose is stored information of the locations and rotations of the bones of the rigs. Okay, let's recap. I am listing some definitions that we will use through the tutorial. 
You will hear these words whenever people talk about Blender animations, so it's important to understand what they mean. Pause this video if you need more time to read it. When you click A, then I in your keyboard, and select the location and rotation, you are storing all the bones location and rotation of the current pose. In this case, we have not moved anything, but you can see how the side panel gets filled with all the bone information that we just saved. You can also see in the bottom part of your screen a yellow dot in the timeline. Okay, now let's select a dot and click the keyboard key, R. I selected wrist bone of the Sims right hand. Now when you move the mouse, you see your bone rotating in a 2D way. Remember, 2D means left, right, up, or down. Let's see what happens when we click the keyboard key, R, twice. Yes, you guessed it right. You are now rotating in 3D. This means in a circular motion. Why don't you try these two techniques with other bones? For example, let me show you how the fingers move. Use the escape key in your keyboard to unselect the bone. Notice that I use the mouse wheel to move the camera while moving the bones. The reason for this is that when you move a bone in 2D, it respects the camera angle you are at. So if you are looking at the rig from the front, it will do a normal left, right, up or down movement. But when you are on the side of the rig, you will see that it moves front, back, left or right of the rig. See the difference? Front and back instead of up and down. Go ahead and practice a bit with other bones so you get used to working with the rig. Okay, I will end this video here. Please practice moving all the dots that you see in the rig. Try it with the R key and then try clicking R twice. I personally use the double R for positioning and then the single R for finishing touches. I am leaving the table we saw at the beginning for you to refresh on what we use today and also get ready for the next video. See you then and thanks for watching.